हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक इंटेंसिव क्रॉपिंग बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन लिटिल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइजेशन इन इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम जीबी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नाइनटीन एंड प्रेजेंटली एसोसिएटेड विथ वन ऑफ द एम एंड वर्किंग इन सीड इंडस्ट्री सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रेजेंटेशन इंटेंसिव क्रॉपिंग The definition: Intensive cropping is the process of growing a number of crops on the same piece of land during the given period of time. And what are the methods of intensive cropping? The following methods have been developed to make intensive cropping a success. First one is multiple cropping, second is intercropping, and third is multi-storied cropping. Multiple cropping: Growing two or more crops on the same field in one year. The intensification of cropping is in temporal and spatial dimensions. Double, triple, and quadruple cropping refers to growing two, three, and four crops respectively on the same land in a year in sequence. Multiple cropping is of different types. First one is sequential cropping. This is a type of multi-cropping in which growing two or more crops in sequence in succession on the same field in a year. The succeeding crop is planted after the Proceeding crop has been harvested. The crop intensification is only in time dimensions like rice, rice, cotton, and ragi, cotton, sorghum. Second type of multiple cropping is relay cropping. It refers to planting of the succeeding crop before harvesting the preceding crop. Like first one is rice black gram, rice fallow pulse. Second is rice lathyrus. Third is rice lucerne. And fourth is like rice bursting, and fifth cotton bursting. Here the seeds of black gram, lathyrus, lucerne, or bursting are broadcasted in standing rice or cotton crop just before they are ready for harvesting. Thus the field is never left fallow, or there is no gap at all between two successive crops. Fourth type of multiple cropping is ratoon cropping or ratooning. It refers to raising a crop with regrowth coming out of roots or stalks after harvest of the crop, although not necessarily for grain like sugarcane, banana, and sorghum crops. Fourth type of multiple cropping is overlapping system of cropping. In this system, the crop is harvested in phases, and the vacated area is sown by next crop. Like forage crops, part of the crop is harvested for feeding to the cattle, and vacated area is sown with alternate crops like barley or lucerne. Now we will go through intercropping. Intercropping is the growing two or more crops simultaneously on the same field. The crop intensification is in both. temporal and spatial dimensions there is intercrop competition all or part of crop growth is opposed to intercropping sole crop is growing one crop alone in pure stand at normal density principles of intercropping we will go through the different principles like first one is the associating crop should be complementary to the main crop Second, the subsidiary crop should be of shorter duration and of faster growing habits to utilize early slow growing period of main crop. Third, the component crops should require similar agronomic practices. Fourth, erect growing crops should be intercropped with cover crops. And fifth, erosion permitting crops should be intercropped with erosion resisting crop. And sixth, the component crops should have different rooting pattern and depth of rooting now we will study about types of intercropping based on intersections first one is parallel cropping under this two crops are selected which have different growth habits and have a zero competition between each other and both of them express their full yield potential like black gram with maize and soybean with cotton second is companion cropping usually a short duration crop is grown along with a long duration crop as a companion crop The base crop gets the company of another crop for a certain period, like cotton plus black gram or green gram. Third one is synergistic cropping. Here, the yield of crops grown together is found to be higher than the yield of their pure crops on unit area basis, like sugar cane and potato. Advantages of intercropping. First, it offers similar benefits to that from rotational cropping. 
सेकेंड द टोटल बायोमास प्रोडक्शन पर यूनिट एरिया पर यूनिट टाइम इज इंक्रीज बिकॉज ऑफ द फुलेस्ट यूज ऑफ लैंड इज द इंटरो स्पेसेस आर यूटिलाइज विच अदरवाइज वुड हैव बीन यूज फॉर वीड ग्रोथ थर्ड द फॉर्डर वैल्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्वान्टिटी एंड क्वालिटी बिकम्स हायर वेन ए नॉन लेग्यूम इज इंटरक्रॉप्ट विथ लेग्यूम लाइक नेवियर ग्रास ग्रोन विथ डिसमेंथस एंड सोरगम विथ काउपी फोर्थ इट प्रोवाइड्स क्रॉप इल्स इन डिफरेंट टाइम्स विच रिड्यूसेस द मार्केटिंग रिस्क फिफ्थ इट ऑफर्स मोर इम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड बेटर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ लेबरर्स मशीन्स एंड पावर थ्रू आउट द ईयर एंड सिक्स इट इज एन इंश्योरेंस अगेंट ड्रॉट नाउ टू स्टडी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंटरक्रॉपिंग एंड मिक्स क्रॉपिंग फर्स्ट इन केस ऑफ इंटरक्रॉपिंग द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ इंटरक्रॉपिंग इज टू यूटिलाइज द स्पेस बिटवीन रोज ऑफ मेन क्रॉप and to produce more grain per unit area while in case of mixed cropping the main objective of mixed cropping are insurance against crop failure purpose is to get at least one crop under any of climatic disease or insect hazards second in case of intercropping there is no competition between main and subsidiary crops while in case of mixed cropping there is competition between crops here all crops area given equal care and there is no main or subsidiary crops third in intercropping the main crop is of long duration and subsidiary crop short duration and early maturing while in case of mixed cropping generally crops are of the same duration and may be of different duration also for in case of intercropping main and subsidiary crops are sown in rows with definite row and special arrangement while in case of mixed cropping generally crop seeds are mixed and broadcasted without any row and special arrangement Fifth, in case of intercropping, the sowing time of both the crops may be same, or the main crop is sown earlier than the subsidiary crops. While in case of mixed cropping, the sowing time for all crops is same. Now to study types of intercropping. First is mixed intercropping, growing two or more crops simultaneously with no distinct row arrangement. Second is row intercropping, growing two or more crops simultaneously. where one or more crops are planted in rows multi storied cropping growing crops of different heights in the same field at the same time is known as multi storied cropping it is practiced in orchards and plantation crops for maximum use of solar energy even under normal planting density like growing sugarcane with potato and onion and growing coconut pepper cocoa and pineapple so this was all about intensive cropping now my presentation ends here thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srasta having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback thank you